Yo, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. Today's video is gonna be on what is Profit Trailer Feeder, PT Feeder. So basically this is an add-on to Profit Trailer. So if you don't have Profit Trailer, then Feeder is not right for you yet. You need to get Profit Trailer and uh, you need to kind of learn what that is. <laughs> you need to go through the settings and everything, their wiki, kind of learn what that is and then you can kind of dive into PT Feeder. So feeder is not like an out of the box settings, like wizard for profit trailer. This is basically a bot that will run on top of profit trailer and it will optimize your settings based on, you know, different market conditions, but you still have to, to create these settings. You still have to tell the bot what to do and how you want it to run which is why I do these update videos and it's why I kind of get, get into like the EMA gain strategy and the low BB, the just those things like, cause I'm trying to teach everybody how this bot actually works. Um, I'm by no means a professional in this. I'm still learning it myself. So um, with that said, basically the, this is the, the crypto profit bot website. I have the link in the description if you do want to buy it, but before you do buy it, go here and see, is this product right for me? And we'll click on that. Basically it takes you to this page and you can read through this. Um, but what is PT feeder good for? So more or less PT feeder is a config generator for profit trailer. Like I just said, um, this is not an auto generating the best settings for you out of the box. You'll still need to care about setting this thing up yourself. Um, basically what PT feeder does is it's looking at the market for you. So you don't have to, it's updating its settings based on a time frame that you give it. Um, it's doing it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it is adjusting your settings on a coin basis, coin by coin basis, which is really cool. That's something profit trailer you can't do currently. Um, but basically I'll give you some examples of what feeder can do. So when Bitcoin rises, altcoins drop quickly like this is just a scenario when btc rises very quickly like we saw um back at the end of 2017 and all the altcoins were dipping because everybody was dumping their money into bitcoin um, the feeder can basically pull the emergency break and set everything to sell only mode for you um, that doesn't mean that you're gonna end up like getting rid of all your bags unless you have the settings set up correctly but what this is really cool for is PT feeder will basically adjust your settings based on the market condition where all these altcoins are dropping and Bitcoin is rising. Um, it'll, it'll adjust those coin by coin settings to say, all right, listen, we're getting pretty negative here in a couple of our bags. We should probably set up our stop loss at a different offset than we had it set to um, standard, right? So with profit trailer, what you're looking at generally, let me open this up. Um, you have like a basic set of settings in profit trailer and in feeder, you have a file that looks like this and pretty much all of this stuff is pretty basic somewhere in this region, right? Um, you can tell profit trailer when to DCA, you can tell profit trailer, um, just a lot of different, very basic stuff. And this is all settings that it just does for every single coin. Now what PT feeder does is it will take these settings and then it will look at the market conditions. And this is what the folder looks like. It'll look at the market conditions, super bear, bear, boring, bull, and super bull. And it'll update the market. It'll check the market every so often, every three to five minutes. And it will tell profit trailer what configuration to be looking in. So if the max coin change is at negative 6%, for the last you know few candles it'll be in super bear mode and what that will do is then it'll update these files into profit trailer this is your regular old profit trailer file if you have profit trailer you have this this is what it looks like and this is what you're setting up in profit trailer you're setting up your dca properties your indicators and your pairs now with feeder these are getting updated based on market conditions and you get to to basically tell feeder what you want these market conditions to look like in each folder okay and you do that down here and the way it's done is with uh 
offsets. And I won't get into exactly how these offsets work because there's some, some calculations you need to do. Um, I'll do that in another video, but basically um, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I'll go back to this for just a brief second. Um, so like the feeder can put in a lower initial buy price on a lower volume coin. Cause basically if you think like a low volume coin is more risky, you, you basically can set up a lower buy value, um, based on these offsets. So basically, sorry if I'm confusing anyone because this is, this is a hard <laughs> subject to just kind of free ball, but, um, these are like your base settings, right? So this is, this is your cost, your buy value. So we use buy value for, for example, your basic set of settings is going to say, okay, you want to buy a coin when it's dropped by 1.5% because you want to get it at the low point. Now, if it's a super bearish market and it's dropping and dropping, it's dropping 1.5% in, in five minutes, then you might want to set up an offset in this super bear folder that says, you know, make this instead of minus 1.5%, make this negative 5%, you know, make it a little more acceptable in a bear market. So I'm not just collecting all of these coins and they're continuing to drop and drop and drop. So that's what you can do down here is these, these buy value offsets right here. You can change that in, in this market. And this is the super bear market. So now my, my bot is going to buy at a lower percentage value because it's in the super bear market. And that's basically what profit trailer feeder does. Um, if you look in these folder that oh, I didn't want to open the indicators, my mistake, I wanted to open the properties. So if you open up the properties folder, the pairs properties, you can see that it is generating different values for each pair. So this is, it's using the boring settings right now. And you have your market is BTC. So this is, it's looking at all of this stuff and it's, it's updating this. It's overriding all of these files every few minutes based on the settings that I have in my app settings folder. And what it's doing is going through BTC to ADA. This is an alphabetical order and it's going through and it's, it's looking at the price changes. It's looking at the downside volatility, upside volatility. It's looking at if the trading is enabled because you can tell it, you know, I don't want to trade ADA. If I put ADA in here, this would not be here. This would be false. Um, it's looking at the buy value. It's, it's updating all of this based on my boring settings in here, which is right here, which basically there's no offsets. So it's using my base settings. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, I don't know if this helps anyone, but to me, profit trailer feeder has really helped in, in these markets because Basically, when you're when you're using a trading bot or when you're trading in general, um, in in normal markets, like I would consider forex and crypto a very dynamic market because the currency that you're trading is very volatile in itself. Like if you look at Bitcoin, it's very volatile in itself. And so when you're purchasing, for example, Cardano ADA you're purchasing it with Bitcoin. Now that Bitcoin can rise and fall in value, but you still purchased ADA at a set cost in Bitcoin terms, right? And the whole point of Profit Trailer is to increase your Bitcoin position if you are using Bitcoin as your trading pair. So you can trade USDT, you could trade Ethereum, um, you know, you could pretty much trade anything that has a substantial number of pairs with it. But for the most part, most people are using Bitcoin. And so if Bitcoin rises in value and these altcoins drop in value um, faster than Bitcoin is, is rising, then you're going to end up losing value in Bitcoin. Now, the same is true if Bitcoin is dropping in value and these altcoins are also dropping in value, then you can end up losing Bitcoin value that way as well. So what you really want is these altcoins to increase in value faster than Bitcoin is, right? Because you want to increase your Bitcoin position. And this happens all the time. 
but it can be difficult to do this on your own or with profit trailer um, in general, because you're not looking at the market every two minutes or every three minutes or five minutes, whatever you have your bot set to. So with PT feeder, it's really helped a lot because it's, it's literally checking the market trend every few minutes and it's able to adjust the settings to easier and, and better capitalize on these price swings between Bitcoin and altcoins, <laughs> if that makes sense. So if this video was helpful to anybody, um, please leave a comment or, or a like in, in the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing another video on how these work. All these things down here, I guess I can go over it real briefly. I went over the market conditions and that basically picks which um, config folder that you're gonna be put into. Um, then you have your price. So you can basically offset your the prices per coins. Um, the volume, you can do the same thing with the volume, just as it was saying in here. So this, let's see, the feeder can put a lower initial buy price on lower volume coins. So if you have a lower volume coin, you can put your buy value to an offset. So that way it's going to buy at a lower value because it's, it's a lower volume coin. Those have way more volatility, right? So if it's a heavy coin that like Ethereum, um, that's being traded, you know, a thousand bitcoins in a day or way more than that, right? Um, you don't need as much of an offset because you, you can assume that it's going to be a little more stable due to the, the liquidity, right? So then you have your price trend change. So this is basically looking at like, to protect you from, I guess this one, the longer term price trend change kind of protects you from pump and dumps. And this one, it talks about that here. So if I pull this up, it says pump and dump protection can be implemented by watching price trends on different time frames. So feeder can automatically uh, put different values or sell only mode on coins uh, on your coin once it detects the price change below or above a certain amount. So, um, yeah, I mean, like that can help you by looking at a longer term price trend, because if a coin is has been pumped super high and then your profit trailer or PT feeder is only looking at, you know, uh, 20, 30 minute candles, that pump could have happened, you know, a month ago. And then your, your profit trailer is trying to buy that coin and it's still dipping way, way down and it's probably going to go into oblivion. You don't really want to be buying that pump and dump coin. So you can kind of protect yourself from that in this region here. Um, and then you can adjust average candle sizes, which is cool too. Um, but then you can also protect yourself from pump and dump coins by putting them into the sell only mode. Um, and then excluded pairs, you can, you can put them in there as well. So like I said, this helped you. I hope it did. Um, leave a comment, drop a like, and I will be doing a more in-depth video on how these are calculated and sort of, I don't know, how they work. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.